yep we are ready uh, let me introduce you and then we we'll start sure thank you so hi good evening everyone hope you all are doing well and as you all know today we are gathered together for this beautiful event of career in cyber security and for this event we have vipin kumar sharma with us uh, he is a cyber security analyst at ey welcome vipin how are you and welcome to squad growth ah uh, good evening good evening sharya thank you so much for having me and i'm good how are you i am good also mm, that's awesome yes people have started joining in we can start the event okay sure so uh, first of all uh, thanks to sharya and squad growth for this opportunity and it's great to be uh, part of this and uh, like delivering this speech on cyber security this session on cyber security clearing people's doubt because uh, i remember when i used to uh, like think about cyber security back in my college days i didn't have much idea so sessions like these help people uh, uh, get through you know different domains what we have and we'll be covering a whole lot of things about cyber security in today's session so please stick through and uh, every question any question that you have please uh, paste it in the chat and discord and sure i will be forwarding uh, your queries to me i guess that sounds good okay so uh first uh, let's get off with some uh, brief introductions so uh, like sharya introduced me thank you for that sharya uh, my name is vipin kumar sharma i work as a cyber security analyst at ey uh, for all of you who those uh, who don't know what ey is ey stands for ernst and young it's a, a it's part of the big four uh, it's a auditing and consulting firm and we provide uh, various kind of uh, consulting and auditing services i particularly work in the cyber security domain of it so majorly i work uh, with the data protection and privacy team so for all of you who those uh, don't know what data protection and privacy is we'll be going through it in this today's session so let's get started okay uh, first question what is cyber security very basic uh, very simple so let's first see what people think is uh, think what cyber security is okay this is what we see in movies a person is sitting in front of a screen a matrix theme uh, background is going in the laptop he is like typing really fast and boom we see a notification nasa is hacked facebook is hacked and stuff like that but it's not that interesting <laughs> i mean it's cool but it's not that uh, interesting so cyber security is much more than hacking uh, this is something uh, which we call, like people like these are uh, some people that we call in uh, cyber terms hackers and the people who uh, like uh, do the opposite of that and like try to hack websites for good people are known as ethical hackers in demon language so cyber security is much more than uh, hacking so what actually is cyber security so uh, if you google it you will find a ton lot of definitions about cyber security on the internet so uh, the one that i particularly like is gi uh, given by ibm so this is a definition of cyber security given by ibm but uh, i'll not read it through because it's way too boring i'll make you understand it so Uh, just th just think of uh, cyber security uh, just think of the world as two spaces physical space and digital space and physical space we have people who try to protect us maintain the law and uh, uh, give us security similarly in in the online world or the digital world we have people who try to protect your information uh, which we particularly call pii personally identifiable information in cyber security so there are people who try to protect your information and make sure that you are able to access your information whenever you want wherever you want without any problem so this is what cyber security is all about making sure that your data is safe and you are able to access your data anytime anywhere uh, you want so this is what cyber security is all about the basic funda safety of your private data as simple as that that's what we do now we do it in a hundred of different ways there are a hundred of different ways in which your data is being protected there are ways in which your data is protected even before you create your data so, uh, so there there is like hundred of domains in cyber security that we have uh, which do a ton lot of things so uh, right of the bat this is what cyber security is all about protecting your personal data from people who are trying to get it and who are not authorized to take so people like me we work day and night to protect your data so please always respect cyber security professionals <laughs> i'm just kidding okay uh, next up we have why cyber security okay why do we need uh, cyber security i am posting stuff online i have my data online uh, why do we need cyber security professionals why cyber security is there okay so most of the people don't know but uh, for uh, these days especially after the like uh, the post covid era uh, as we said there are a 
done a lot of cyber attacks on firms and people think okay oh this firm has been hit by a cyber attack what's the big deal people have no idea the amount of money uh, firms lose because of cyber attacks it's a major chunk of their losses every year uh, if if you want to take a guess uh, our like what uh, in the past fiscal that was the 21 22 fiscal how much uh, like how, how much money did uh, firms lose worldwide due to cyber attacks you might be thinking okay uh, hundreds of millions of dollars okay maybe 1 billion dollar maybe 10 billion or uh, 10 billion dollar i'll tell you in the last year only the, the like global firms the major firms uh, this uh, like might not be the most accurate data lost more than 8 billion dollars uh, on cyber attacks so cyber attacks are what we say a pain in the ass for uh, all the uh, firms that are out there who are handling your data Uh, and uh, it's not about it's not about just handling your data we have uh, firms that are working you might think cyber attacks are only uh, bad for the firms that are working in it you might think of amazon uh, and you think uh, some cyber attack is there on the amazon and uh, amazon is losing uh, private data but that's not true every firm is dealing with data uh, let's just take a simple example of banks banks are much sensitive information ba- banking is one of the most critical uh, aspects in cyber security a uh, field uh, in banking we provide like ton lot of solutions uh, for bankers so the, the private information can be secured your credit card numbers your debit card numbers your account numbers uh, your epo numbers uh, there is ton lot of data that needs to be protected and not only it firm uh, has this data there are a ton of firms uh, which are out there they collect your data and uh, they have to comply by some privacy laws just uh, uh, to be in compliant with government laws so they need to have cyber security professionals in order to protect data uh, because of two reasons first of all they don't want to lose your data because that's going to cost them money second of all government has made it, made it mandatory for you to comply with these laws and if you don't comply with these laws uh, the government regulatory bodies put a fine on you so that's the second reason so this is why we have cyber security professionals this is why we have cyber security basic line to uh, to make sure your data is not in the hands of people who are not authorized to have it i always say it cyber criminals are not authorized to have your data and uh, cyber security professionals make sure they don't have your data that's what cyber security is all about okay this was one of the question that i was asking uh, you guys how much data we lost due to cyber attacks okay myths about cyber security like we talked in the starting of the session what the best myth about cyber security is cyber security is hacking all cyber security professionals are hackers but uh, as sound uh, like as cool as it sounds it's not true <laughs> we have other fields in cyber security as well that are in, uh, as interesting as uh, hacking hacking is pretty cool uh, in my introduction i didn't tell i also work as a part time bug bounty hunter so for all of you who do, uh, don't know what bug bounty is there are certain platforms that on which uh, companies register and uh, people who are freelancing can go on those websites and uh, uh, like com- those companies websites are made open to people like us and we try to hack those websites that's what uh, that's what uh, is called ethical hacking so we try to hack those websites and once we get some uh, flaws in which we in technical terms call bugs there is a severity of the bug you find and then you write a report on it then you send the report to the company and uh, they fix the report uh, they fix the bug and they pay you some amount of money uh, for your wo- uh, work on their website so uh, that's bug bounty hunting so uh, bug bounty hunting is all about uh, hacking so as much as cool as it uh, we in technical terms we call it pen testing full form is penetration testing so we'll talk about it later but yeah cyber security is not all about hacking there are a ton of different fields in cyber security that we'll go through in some time awesome okay so career paths in cyber security now uh, when a person thinks of cyber security the basic problem they have is they don't know how to get in they don't know what paths are there uh, for uh, everyone in cyber security that's the major issue with cyber security so cyber security has many branches guys uh, uh, if you'll see on this diagram we have cyber security analyst that's what i do we have uh, cyber security consultant well actually that's uh, also what i do <laughs> so uh, we have pen testers and vulnerability testers that those people are ethical hackers we have cyber security engineers who deploy uh, tools and uh, deploy techniques to save your data 
we have cyber security managers and administrators so cyber security managers look over a team of other cyber security professionals who do a ton of stuff differently okay so we'll go, uh, we have uh, i have prepared a ton of profiles that are there in cyber security and we'll be going uh, through them one by one okay meanwhile guys if you have like uh, whatever i'm saying you have any doubts please don't hesitate to put in uh, the question put in the questions in the chat let's make this a, a fun you know a real time session open session where all doubts will be answered okay yep. so like i told you questions but yes, we will take them in the end like uh, the okay. question related big bounty vpn uh, mm -hmm. crypto getting hacked something something related to this so we'll take them okay the okay end. definitely definitely okay that's also a good idea so continuing with it uh, career path in cyber security okay so i want now i'm out of i'm in my fourth year maybe i'm in my third year and i want to go into cyber security what should i do okay what will i be doing once i get into cyber security there are ton of different roles let's uh, go through these so the first one is cloud security probably the hottest field in cyber security right now see guys for those of you who don't know what cloud is uh, earlier in earlier times data used to be uh, stored on servers well uh, it's uh, these days also <laughs> stored on servers but yeah so uh, suppose i uh, i'm an organization and i need to uh, store data online because i need to put it on internet so what i'll do is i'll create a server room for my company and i'll put in the data in the servers uh, as my organization will grow i'll grow the size of the servers and the capacity of the data that can be stored in the servers that was the scenario in earlier times but nowadays we have cloud services so what i'll need is i don't have to buy all that infrastructure for my company what i can do is i can pay a cloud service to store all my data and cloud is not just about storing data cloud provides a like hell lot of services apart from storing data this is just one aspect of a uh, cloud so what i'll do is i'll uh, use a cloud service now what are the most famous cloud services you must have heard the name aws amazon web services well people uh, like most of the people only think amazon as a like delivery service they provide products and deliver products but guys just google once amazon web services it's the biggest cloud platform on on the planet and it's freaking awesome uh, other cloud services may be aws uh, sorry uh, uh, aws was an azure the cloud service by microsoft the other one can be gcp google cloud uh, platform by google so these are the uh, uh, service uh, companies that provide cloud services now like i told you data is being stored on cloud uh, we have other uh, uh, we have other you know functionalities of cloud as well in which uh, it provides us virtual machines it provides us uh, functions key vaults a hell lot of things uh, we'll not be discussing cloud in brief but yeah your data is being stored on the cloud so if data is there people will always be, be there who will try to steal that data so you also need people who will try to protect the data so that's what cloud security engineers are cloud security engineers uh, basically look over the protection of a particular cloud maybe uh, with experience you can move on with different clouds as well you have uh, like with experience you can get the expertise on multiple cloud platforms but usually a cloud in a cloud security engineer works on a particular cloud service okay there are certain certification as well which we'll talk about in the later part of this session uh let's choose the interesting ones cyber security compliance analyst okay this is an interesting one so who uh, knows what gdpr and ccpa is okay so for those of you who don't know uh, there is something called data privacy so as users of the free world internet uh users are given certain rights well uh not in india as of now because uh, we have a, a protection bill coming up uh, that's the uh, i guess protection bill 2019 but i guess it has not been passed yet so gdpr is the privacy law for european union european union i guess have some uh, 26 countries uh, 27 uh, no 27 yeah 26 after brexit so all those uh, 26 countries they follow a certain laws all the organizations has to comply with certain laws and every user who is putting their data on the internet are given certain rights similar to gdpr there is a law which is called ccpa california consumer protection act for the consumers of california okay these are very strong laws so the european union follow very strong uh, data privacy laws so let me give you an example so uh, suppose there is an organization uh, and they have a data breach 
so under in european and they are handling the data of european uh, european citizens okay so uh, they have to what they have to do is they have to inform uh, their uh, like consumers that there has been a data breach within a certain period of time and within that certain period of time the consumer also have the right to sue the company uh, for certain amount uh, because their data has been lost and if the com company is not compliant with gdpr and is not uh, do, like there are a ton of things in gdpr that a company has to be compliant with and if the company is not compliant they are uh, punished with a penalty and believe me guys the penalty is very high it's very 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 high it's in millions of dollars uh, a company has to pay to the uh, re regular authorities so what companies do is they hire compliance analysts so uh, what a cyber security compliance analyst analyst will do is it will make sure that the firm he is working for is compliant with all the laws that the firm should be in compliance with okay so th that's called the data privacy it's a booming sector guys i'll tell you so we don't have any like as of now as of 2019 we didn't have any privacy laws in india so basically privacy is a myth in india uh, uh, me uh, uh, being working for eygds global delivery services i used to uh, like i used to work on a project uh, relating gdpr and ccpa so i have worked on those but yeah a new privacy bill is coming uh, in india and i'm telling you guys this job profile is going to boom in india because every firm in india is going to have people who have to make sure that every firm in india is complying with the privacy law so uh, mark this one cyber security compliance analyst this is a, a job profile which is going to boom in india in upcoming two years there go there are going to be a heck of a lot of uh, opportunities in cyber security for this particular profile so keep keep an eye on this okay next we have cyber security one one uh, okay let's first deal with the cool ones uh, pen, uh, penetration tester uh, also certified ethical hacker red team so like i told you uh, pen testers or certified ethical hackers or the red team as we call it uh, in the companies what they do is they are given the liberty to hack the websites of the organizations they work for or the organizations they are given authorization of hacking for okay so what my firm will do is my firm will come to me weapon we have this website now obviously uh, new, there are a ton of, uh, ton lot of new to, uh, notorious people in the world so people will try to hack it that's what people do in their free time because people are very free and uh, these days people are very knowledgeous as well so they hack websites you must have heard this in, uh, incident i guess some 16 year old from uk he managed to find privileged ex escalations in microsoft facebook uh, and he was able to uh, like escalate it to an account takeover so uh, when i say account takeover it's a very big thing account takeover in cyber security is like you have the root access and you have like all, all the privileged information so account takeover is like the worst thing that can happen uh, uh, when a like hacker gets in, uh, into your system okay so what i'll do is uh, me being a penetration tester or a ethical hacker i'll try to hack uh, my company's website just acting as a hacker but because i am doing it ethically that's why these people are called ethical hackers so i'll hack the website i'll find a bug okay i'll tell my company or the company i've been working for uh, that yeah th this this is a bug maybe some other person can you know uh, utilize this bug and get into your system so please patch this so that patching work which will be uh, done will be done by the blue team okay so uh, for those of you who don't know what patching is uh, so uh, once a vulnerability is found in uh, a web application a patch is deployed patch is basically the solution for that vulnerability uh, i know most of you must have not heard the names of these vulnerabilities uh, cross site scripting uh, sql injections so uh, suppose uh, like a website was susceptible to cross site scripting attacks the the what the blue team will do is the blue team will provide some patches uh, for those uh, cross site scripting attacks and uh, so that other person cannot do it maybe a website is susceptible to brute force attacks or sql injections or a hell lot of other uh, attacks that we have so uh, they'll introduce a patch okay for, for the same thing to just to cover up the bug now that's what pen uh, testing is all about uh, we have cyber security incident responder okay so cyber security is not just uh, saving the like global data uh, suppose i work in a firm i also have to save the data of my firm okay so what uh, now um, at firms we deal with very sensitive client information and if that information goes out of the firm that will be a big problem for the uh, organization so what a, a organization will do is for uh, those of you uh, don't know what happens in corporate is 
you are not allowed uh, you are given a corporate email id okay uh, uh, suppose your email id is uh, suppose my uh, general email id is something vipin dot sharma at gmail.com so the extension for uh, that will not be gmail it will be the corporate name i cannot uh, due to privacy reasons tell you my corporate email id but yeah you are given a corporate email id you are not allowed to send any clients uh, sensitive information outside of the organization via email but since we all are humans we tend to do it people still do it even if uh, in organizations people cyber security persons like us give sessions telling people not to do it but people still do it so what's the solution so there is a solution called dlp which is called data loss prevention uh, it's it's being deployed on the organizations endpoint so what that solution will do is if you send an email uh, to your personal email id and the uh, personal email id contains some sensitive information uh, the person email which you are sending it contains some sensitive information it will be blocked by the dlp solution so you will not be allowed to send uh, the information okay and if the information is very like less sensitive huh, uh, you might be able to send it but an incident will be generated in the dlp tool and a person will be sitting in front of the dlp tool who will be known as the cyber security incident responder okay so that responder what he'll do is he'll take a look at your email so he'll have access to it he'll look at the document and he'll decide if the document was uh, sensitive or not and if it it was found sensitive by him that's called level 1 triage he'll escalate it to level 2 in which senior analysts will be there and they'll decide whether like uh, some actions should be taken against you or not according to the organization policies okay so that's what uh, incident responders do so similarly we have like a heck lot of profiles uh, we have discussed to uh, all of these uh okay so uh, these were the profiles there were there are a lot of profiles I, i'm sorry like uh, since we have limited time i'll not be able to discuss every profile that is in cyber security you have iam identity access management you have penetration testing vulnerability assessment data protection data privacy i work in data protection and i have not even told you guys what is data protection <laughs> uh, this dlp solution what, what i was telling you about na this is deployed by the data protection team so what we tend to do is we tend to save the data before the organization is under attack okay so we deploy tools to make sure that the data is not compromised okay other teams they tend to do uh, things after the data has been compromised but we tend to make sure that the data is not compromised it's called pre attack analysis so uh, that's what we do in data protection okay it's pretty cool uh, and uh, so we have other tools as well if a cas b data discovery uh, key management encryption cryptography you must have heard these terms for those of you who are doing like bachelor's in technology in computer science there will be a subject for you cryptography so please go through it it's very interesting and it's a very interesting field in cyber security right now i'm also working on something that involves encryption and all okay so it's 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 very uh, awesome and it's very interesting if you want to go through it okay now the big question why to get into cyber security okay people are there who are trying to secure our data good for them <laughs> why we should do it first of all it's freaking interesting okay cyber security is super awesome and let me tell you guys cyber security is the field of future everything is going online every hard asset that we used to have is going soft everything is going digital and that's why there'll be a lead, need of a lot of cyber security professionals in future and there are and there are vacancies and not people to fill it seriously so cyber security is the booming field because the metaverse is coming you you all know the metaverse is coming everything will be online you will have online uh, personalities online avatars and uh, once everything goes online there'll be a need to protect the data people will be there to protect you against cyber crimes and cyber bullying and everything so there'll be a need of cyber security professionals this is the right time to get into cyber security because you are like at the prime of your colleges and this is the right time to start building your profile in cyber security okay i'll tell you how to build that uh, we are coming to that but this is the right time to get into cyber security guys because cyber security is the future and it's not because i'm working in cyber security i'm just telling it to you from personal experience okay so skills that you need to get into cyber security now communication skills obviously communication skills guys you need to have everywhere you go uh i particularly work on a client facing engagement so i tend to have i must have good communication skills which i guess probably have 
uh, <laughs> you need uh, you'll need uh, problem solving skills obviously programming skills okay uh, this question i'm like i'm hearing this question from the day i was born i i guess do we need coding in cyber security do we need coding in cyber security guys i'll tell you if you want to build a career in computer science na you will need you need coding everywhere please not run for, for from it coding is not difficult that's why i'm like very irritated because of this question it is not difficult it's just it just depends on practice the day you started driving a car did you became michael schumacher after two days no na you start coding you are bad at it you keep on doing it you're still bad at it but you don't give up on it you still doing it you keep on practicing you keep practicing a ton of questions and then you get good at it the day you started driving and maybe after 2 3 years of uh, driving you obviously see a change in yourself right please don't run from coding it's a very beautiful thing every person should code and it will be useful for you if you want to get in it i hate those people who will tell you yeah you will not require coding in this role you will not require coding in this role. you will require coding everywhere and uh, if someone is telling you they is just asking you to run from it and uh, maybe not today maybe not tomorrow in your uh, current work stream in it you will require coding okay so please get away from people who are telling you this do code if you are in it if you want to build a uh, future in computer engineering okay because not today maybe not tomorrow in your job but you will require coding that's for sure now the main question yeah so not totally in cyber security Uh, do we require coding but yeah there are a, a requirement of certain scripting skills maybe probably in python and go uh, just, just just see it that way guys suppose you wanna like break a lock we have seen na in movies people pick locks so before you try to pick a lock na you should know how a lock works then only you'll be able to pick a lock if you want to hack a website you should know how a website works and a website is written in pure code it's javascript the backend is working on php maybe uh, it's react so at least if you are not coding you should at least know how to read the code otherwise how will you break the code if you don't know how to read the code so that's the part for all of you who are like thinking of becoming ethical hackers uh, become a pen tester yes it's very cool it's very good you definitely need to code and uh, if even if you are not coding you will definitely need to uh, read the code and uh, reading the code guys it, see if you are not coding uh, if you are not writing codes how you are supposed to read codes that's like the simple question right so uh, you, you have to like uh, go through tons of javascript documentation it's not uh, cyber security is is tool based i'm not saying it is not very tool specific but yeah you uh, you need to get into backend and uh, believe me guys this will be very helpful for you go to hacker rank go to code shop go to uh, uh, there are ton of uh, platforms that are there geeks for geeks is there start coding start from a program that says hello world and then uh, uh, take up a project to build a website take up a project to build the front end of the website maybe the back end learn apis this word na api application programming interface this will change your life it's such a beautiful thing na ap everyone should know what a api is and everyone should know how to test apis and deploy apis if you want to uh, build a career in uh, cyber security you should know these things these are very cool and very interesting things uh, you have that uber app right you book a cab how uh, uber like and you see uh, may not may not maybe uber maybe ola and you see uh, everything on google maps right how is ola taking data from uh, google maps google maps is a different uh, application right that is being done by apis apis help us do that okay you must have seen covid uh, coven uh, uh, the interface that was created by the government of india now every third person is creating a website with uh, on which you can go and book a vaccination slot how is how the hell is that happening because coven app has open apis you anyone can go use their apis and build their own website for booking slots i yesterday built an app and uh, i was like uh, uh, at my company door i was asked to show the uh, vaccination certificate and i was very irritated with the coven app and i was not able to download the certificate so i came home i built an app just a simple app in which you will have to uh, put in your number uh, otp will come and you can download your covid certificate how simple is that how cool is that you sh- you will have the capability to do it okay so programming skills yes i'll never say you'll uh, not in programming okay 
cyber security fundamentals what are cyber security fundamentals okay cyber security fundamentals what is what are vulnerabilities different kind of vulnerabilities what are different kind of networking protocols what is 404 error what is 200k okay uh, different kind of attack what is sql injections what is brute what are brute for attack these are what is cryptography what is cipher text what is plain text what is encryption these are the fundamentals which you will uh, learn about cyber security uh there are uh, like uh, great platforms like spot growth who will provide you the opportunity to learn about these kind of things the fundamentals the basics right sharya <laughs> yep definitely actually we have plan in future that we we'll launch our own course in which people can learn different things see see guys people like sharya are making sure uh, to provide you with this information like the basics of cyber security so you can get started definitely go and check that out because uh, i'll tell you if you have good fundamentals you'll uh, construct a good building uh, over it okay but if the fundamentals are not very right the building will be shaky guys let me tell you okay so uh, uh, how to uh, like now the next big question is what sub domain i told you like tons of different profiles right cloud security compliance engineer okay pen tester so this is what you have to decide so we were discussing which sub domain you want to get into cyber security now how will you get to know what cyber security domain you'll have to read you'll have to find about uh, it you'll have to talk to people like me that's why we have these sessions just to tell you what we have now for some of the people who are attending the session they'll find cloud security domain very interesting so they tend to they'll tend to move towards cloud security others will find ethical hacking penetration testing very interesting they'll tend to move towards it so that's what you have to do and it's not guy it's not that guys you have to stick to a domain maybe you get into penetration testing maybe you to uh, get into cloud security you don't like it change it you are like uh, at the beginning of your career you have the liberty to do that so uh, explore as many domains as you can i'm not just saying cyber security other domains we have tons of domains in uh, this thing it right maybe you can be a software developer maybe you can be automation tester explore everything you are at the beginning of your careers and this is the thing i was lucky enough to find out my love for cyber security at a very early stage in my career but maybe it's not made for you maybe you like software development maybe you want to be a, a, a development engineer automation tester anything you want okay you'll have to do it in order to see whether you like it or not that's the key funda okay now the other best thing to get into cyber security are certifications which personally i don't like but yeah that's the rule of the world i cannot change it i personally don't like certifications uh, i prefer knowledge rather than a piece of paper saying that yeah i have that knowledge but still yeah cyber uh, uh, certifications are very important especially when we talk about cyber security okay there are organizations that provide industry level certifications which will look good on your resume so since you guys are in college you should start doing this certification okay once you start applying for internships the internship uh, uh, screening process will be like okay i see this resume okay this is shoresh sharma okay oh uh, he wants to role for a cyber security analyst intern at our organization oh he is uh, comptia certified with security plus certification good it means he have the fundamental knowledge he can go through it let's uh, schedule an interview with shoresh okay that's what certifications do they help you get through the screening process okay now comptia is one of the organizations that i particularly like because i have see i have done their certification i have seen their certifications it's very good certifications very nice certifications thorough course if you want to get into cyber security they have a, a certification called uh, the security plus certification do that it covers all the fundamentals of cyber security and it will look really good on your resume and once you like uh, get, get get through the fundamentals maybe you want to do linux plus that's the certification Uh, people who want to work in linux cloud plus if you want to learn cloud pen test plus for all the penetration testers out there okay next up we have uh, they have recently introduced a new certification called cyber security uh, analyst plus but i have not like gone through that certification so i'll not suggest you that now this is these are general certifications okay uh security plus comptia is a very general organization that provides certification and it's very general in terms we also have product based certifications 
there is a certification uh, in Azure that is a 900. It's called Azure Fundamentals. I am Azure not is a 900 interaction on you. Okay, the fundamentals of the cloud that we are referring. Okay, once you have AZ 900, uh, you might want to go for AZ 500. That's the Azure Security Engineer certification that will um, uh, show people that yeah, you know knows the you know the security uh, part of the cloud as well. So these are these kind of certifications are called uh, product specific certifications. Okay, AWS has its own uh, certifications. I believe the fundamental certification for them is Azure Cloud Practitioner certificate. So uh, uh, yeah, and you know the best part about working at EY. So we have uh, like this tie up with Microsoft, so I get to have this all these certifications for free. So that's cool. Most of the organizations have like tie ups with different organizations, and they provide like the certifications for free. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So guys, now let me uh, like since we are at the end of the session and we'll be taking uh, some questions. I, let me tell you one thing. Okay, you have to start working on it. It's not going to come to you. You have to start working on it. You'll have to make gradual uh, gradual progress. That's the only way uh, you're going to uh, get through it. Okay, I'm talking about your career in general. You are at a very big uh, like very naive stage of your career, I'll say, and this is the time for you to start preparing. I'm not uh, like. I know how people in BTEC work, how BTEC works, how other uh, degree works, and how much study people do because I've gone through, gone through uh, BTEC myself. Give half an hour, at least half an hour to your career every day. I know it, it sounds very uh, like easy. It's not that easy to do, but it's not that difficult to do. Give half an hour. Make a LinkedIn profile. Very important. LinkedIn, for those of you who don't know it, is a very powerful tool and it just kills me that people don't know what LinkedIn is. It's uh, LinkedIn is basically the Facebook for working professional guys. You share like uh, go on LinkedIn. Don't go and keep on scrolling Instagram and Facebook. Go on LinkedIn, make a profile, scroll LinkedIn. You'll see stories of successful people. Now, uh, uh, suppose my goal is to be a security engineer at Google. Now I see a post uh, on LinkedIn that uh, of a security engineer at Google. He got a job at Google. Now what I'll do is I'll open up his profile and I'll see what he has done in his career that I can also uh, imbibe and I can also like go to my dream job, right? LinkedIn is a very powerful tool, guys. These days, company don't even ask for your resume. They'll ask you to give them your LinkedIn profile. They'll go through your LinkedIn profile and see, yeah, okay, he's good enough or not for our screening process. Make a LinkedIn profile today and spend at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes uh, a day on LinkedIn. It's very addictive. Once you get started on LinkedIn, Facebook, scrolling Facebook and Instagram will not be that much fun. If you're really into your career, you'll see a lot of successful people, a lot of unsuccessful people. You learn from their mistakes. That's what we do. We don't learn from our mistakes. We learn from other people's mistakes. That's the most important thing. Okay. Make a LinkedIn profile. And uh, like, since you guys are on the platform where you need internships, right? You'll be uh, going for internships in your summer breaks or your winter breaks. Okay. After your semesters, reach out to people on LinkedIn, connect with people. You want an internship at an organization, send an uh, connection request to all, like all the people who are working on that profile on that organization. Ask them very respectfully, Ki, hey, I'm Vipin. Uh, I've been uh, like, uh, I wanted to connect with you and I like, like, really respect you, uh, really appreciate that you accepted my connection request. I was just wondering, I'm a uh, like BTEC student at this and this uh, college. Would it be like fine for you to provide me a referral for this internship at your organization? 90 out of 100 people will say yes. If you be respectful, you ask people for help. 10 people will not give it. 90 people will give it. Okay. Do that, guys. Connect to good people on LinkedIn uh, who are like doing good in your careers. It will be very beneficial with you. Okay. Uh, okay. I guess I've spoken enough, Sharia. I guess uh, we can start taking the doubts yep we can can you okay. please stop this uh, stop the slide sharing so that yeah we can come in equal frame yep yeah yeah definitely mm. one second please so yes so, we have a couple of questions guys if you have any other question then just put in the message section because now it's the time of question uh, taking we will take uh, we will take your questions 
the first question we have is please explain us about bug bounty okay bug bounty is super interesting super fun and money giving uh i'll tell you there are platforms uh, i'll give you one example i do bug bounty on bug crowd okay, okay. there are other platforms as well i guess hacker one is uh, one of the very famous platforms its name so what you do is you go you register there are a, a hell lot of open uh, what should i uh, how should i say it? A, a lot of organizations come and they do register uh, themselves for the bug bounty programs and what you need to do is before jumping onto bug bounties you at least need to know how to find vulnerabilities so there are platforms like squad growth who will give you courses on how to do that in future learn that and then go on these platforms learn by other people maybe go on youtube try to see how other people are finding vulnerabilities on websites okay first of all before finding vulnerabilities at least one learn what vulnerabilities are there if you don't know what is sql injection what a cross site scripting error what a brute force error uh, like attack is you are still new to this field learn first then apply okay go to these platform you register and boom you found a vulnerability on one of the websites what you will do is you you will do is you will write a report about that vulnerability and you will send that to the platform maybe bug it out okay and then the company will evaluate it and they'll give you a bounty is what we call that in like uh, common terms so that's bug bounty and yeah. the bounty is in dollars and it's a pretty good amount guys uh, depending on uh, let me give you a, like uh, uh, okay i should okay i i'll talk in general and i'm not talking about specific the bound bounties i have got uh, i'll not be talking about that in specific but recently i saw one person who found like one vulnerability in some website and they gave him a bug a bounty of 10000 dollars for uh, what's the exchange rate today sharia let's say the exchange rate for dollar 76 so yeah 77 so that's 7 lakh 70000 rupees just on one report one piece of paper and you can do that every day you don't need a degree you don't need anything you just need one computer you just need knowledge and you can do that every day people do that for living believe me guys and once you keep on doing that you'll build a repo on that web, uh, bug crowd platform okay so there is a ranking so once you go higher up in the ranking more and more like severe bugs uh, keep coming on to you and it's we have come around the world for people like this bug bounty hunters and all these people are really, really respected so yeah it's 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 a good uh, career choice if you want to do it got it uh, another question what do you think about vpn can anyone hack it okay vpn virtual private network okay you must have heard the new, uh, news the uh, okay uh, let me drill down to what vpn is virtual private network okay so you must have seen some platforms in which if you install you will enable a vpn you will not be people will not be able to track you on the internet okay uh, internet is very traceable anyone uh, i can run a uh, like ip search on shorya and i can like right now in 2 minutes i can give you the exact location in chat <laughs> so everyone is very traceable on internet uh, i can do that i have done that for a lot of people <laughs> you should not do that it's not very <laughs> legal um, yeah so uh, what vpn will do is it will protect your identity on the internet what it will do is it will keep on bounce, uh, like j- i'm not going into technicality but uh, suppose you download a vpn and mm-hmm. you're sitting in india so maybe you can change your location the internet will see you are sitting in us you are sitting in china now uh, why we do this why most of the people use vpn not to protect their identity but to uh, download movies that's that's why we do it in certain countries torrent is banned other software is banned so what i'll do is i'll download a vpn i'll shift my location to india uh, maybe philippines malaysia oh torrent is not banned there you can easily download uh, and uh, like everything so that's why people do it but now recently you must have seen the news what government of india is doing is uh, they have bringing in a law in which the vpn providers have to provide the information uh, about their customers so basically destroying the fundamentals of vpn uh, the <laughs> fundamental of vpn was to protect yeah data p- 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 privacy of a professional and the government of india wants the data so uh, it's a law coming see uh, the government of india is doing it so there must be some good reason behind it and yeah. uh, there are uh, very smart people lot of smart people working for the government and we need to abide by these uh, laws and we need to respect the decisions because some guys sometimes things will happen even in your career 
you'll not like a particular change or something but always believe that some some people who know more uh, knows more than you are enforcing those change and maybe you don't have to feel good about it but yeah we should ab uh, abide by the laws this is what cyber security is about abiding by the laws and making sure everyone is following the same data privacy data protection laws and not stealing your data yes so that's what vpn is and uh, can it be hacked anything can be hacked anything that is digital can be hacked and it has been hacked we have geniuses around the people i told you about that 16 year old guys he's freaking 16 year old and he got into facebook and microsoft servers there are professionals working on facebook who has 30 40 years of experience in cyber security technical architects they have teams of security professionals as big as people who live in a town believe me still a 16 year old was able to get into uh, facebook and do a account takeover just think about it you can also do it but don't do it like do it ethically <laughs> <laughs> yeah nice one so yeah we see some crypto get hacked can't we hack mm -hmm. the hacker i mean can't we trace its location okay see uh, first of all what is crypto okay crypto uh, cryptocurrency works on a, a, a like fundamental of blockchain okay so uh, we'll not get into much detail because it's like really technical so uh, the basic fundamental behind a uh, block uh, chain the behind the blockchain technology is that it's not traceable okay so yeah see i'll not uh, uh, saying that yeah it cannot be hacked is a very definitive statement because uh, in it field you cannot say definitely say it cannot be done uh, you have must have heard about the 4 minute mile okay uh there was something uh, people uh, like uh, ran for a, a mile and they completed in uh, like uh, people were not able to complete uh, it in 4 uh, minutes so it was a thing 4 minute mile one person did it everybody is doing it now uh, uh let's take some other example mount, mount everest uh, cannot be climbed without oxygen one person did it many people followed so it's something like that okay we cannot make a definitive statement that is the fundamentals of blockchain make it unhackable okay that's the beauty of it that's the beauty of like unregulatory currencies like cryptocurrency uh, that's the beauty of it but yeah uh, we should not make a definitive statement that it cannot be hacked maybe the platforms that are regulating uh, the cryptocurrency may be hacked okay and the second question uh, can cannot we trace the hacker see guys there are a lot of things that comes into play when you are like a notorious hacker you must have heard the name anonymous there yep. are a lot a ton of things that come into play so definitely uh, like i told you everything is hackable everyone is traceable you don't even have any idea what amount of uh, traceability organizations have i'll tell you if you have certain resources okay i, I don't want to scare guys off and i don't want to like uh, Uh, say this being a cyber security professional if you have certain people with certain abilities and you have certain resources i once you go into public na and connect your phone to wifi i can drill down to your entire identity in 2 minutes i can like uh, your whole digital identity i'm saying from the day you started using the internet na what all have you done on internet can be uh, is is traceable that is the era we are living in okay being a data uh, protection and privacy professional i should not say data privacy is a myth but yeah in, in certain terms because uh, technology keeps on improving guys you try to protect data in one way cyber criminals will come with 10 different ways to exploit it that's the kind of the world we live in but still we try to uh, make the best of it we try in our ability to enforce data privacy and data protection and try to protect your data yeah so yeah. are the hackers uh, hackers traceable yes they are and that's what government of india and cyber forensics people do they track them they put them in jails yep another question any certification would be appreciated by recruiters guys we have discussed the certification part if you missed it don't worry we have recorded the session we will put it on youtube you can watch it there um guys we are taking the yep. question for another one minute and then we will wrap up the session so if you have any then just uh, put it down in the message section right now how a day look like in cyber security uh, how a day looks like for a cyber security professional okay this is a very good question you wake up at 
whatever the time your client wants and you sleep at the time your client wants <laughs> as simple as that okay <laughs> like if uh, see if you're working on a product based firm it's comparatively like uh, time frame driven but uh, if you work on client specific roles like i do i work with us clients so sometimes i have to extend my hours to even 2 3 in the night because that time suits the client so yeah you have to like if you're working on a client driven role uh, it's different from a product driven role and you have to extend your hours but yeah like i have the liberty to maybe start later so uh, it's it's uh, i'll tell you guys cyber security is pretty interesting you get to do a lot of like what should i say fun stuff and the satisfaction you have at the end of the day now that you get to do something good for other people you i cannot like go into uh, aspects of the projects that i worked in but believe me guys when you complete a project and you get to hear the stories about the uh, tool that you have deployed now that these many incidents were captured this amount of sensitive information was saved because of the policies you created because of the tool you deployed it feels yeah. good yeah it's uh, what uh, what people say na god's work which we are doing so keep on doing it <laughs> nice yeah yeah we don't have any other question so thank you guys okay. for joining in thank you vipin for providing a huge amount of knowledge to our community and i learned a lot in fact about cyber security and yep thank you very much for the session uh, definitely sharya and thank you so much for having me guys please uh, connect with me on linkedin if you want to get to know me uh, any connection request and any any questions will be appreciated i'll uh, try to answer as much as i can and uh, platforms like squad growth are giving you a good opportunity in the future to get into this field uh, this is a good field guys uh, work on your career you are a, uh, at a very beginning of your career maybe you are in your career still you want to switch you can get into this hard work and consistency is the key okay uh, yeah. hard work hard work always beats talent when talent doesn't work hard always believe in this statement be consistent be hard working and everything is easy, uh, very easy your placements everything is getting into organization is easy just keep on working on yourself and since it's weekend have a nice weekend have a good day thank you so much thank you people yes. for joining in and wait for one minute in then uh, vipin sorry uh, let me add yeah, the sure. and then we will connect yeah sure so people bye see you in the next event and till then keep networking keep enjoying see you in the next one guys bye 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 everyone bye